required to commit criminal activities by appropriating U.S. taxpayer dollars to fund those taxpayer dollars into their market-selected corporate interests, including Moderna and Pfizer and Gilead Sciences and a whole host of others. In violation of 15 U.S. Code Section 8, they have engaged in market manipulation and market allocation by price-fixing the prices of vaccines and therapeutic interventions for COVID-19. In violation of 15 U.S. Code Section 19, they have actually violated a federal felony crime of interlocking directorates, controlling both the means, the motive, and the message around what is in fact the COVID-19 campaign. Those are criminal violations. Those are things for which they should be arrested, cuffed, and taken into custody right now. And if anyone within the yep, hearing yep, of yep, my voice yep. here or anywhere else has courage and has a freaking drop of patriot blood in them, they have an obligation under the oaths that they take to protect and defend this Constitution sure we to bring these this? criminals to justice. And on their way, we they can actually charge them with this? their civil complaints as well. Violation of 35 U.S. Code Section 206, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, which is the disclosure you know, I, of government I'll interest. The camera behind, In fact, and I'll just Dr. Anthony Fauci in October of 2020 failed to disclose 40 patents generating over $4.5 billion a year that he is actually directly benefiting from in NIAID uh, and NIH's response to the Office of the General Accountability Office investigation into NIH. They have violated Section 35, Section 101 of okay. the patent laws of the United States okay. by patenting nature, which is actually a violation of the fundamental rights of patent laws of the United States, and finally in violation of 21 Code of Federal Re Regulations. And by the way, this goes to everybody standing here and everybody around the country. They have forced us to participate in a clinical trial in violation of 21 CFR and in violation of the Nuremberg Code. They have actually forced us to participate in a clinical trial and violated the Federal Trade Commission laws that say that you actually cannot promote the treatment or prevention of disease by an untested medical technology. As recently as April of 2020, the actual Journal of American Medical Association said there was no evidence, no scientific evidence that masks did anything to prevent or treat or ameliorate any form of disease. But against the law, and it's 21 CFR section 50.24 and following, they violated the law, and they violated the Federal Trade Commission Act that says that you're not allowed to do that. That is the same act that they have used to shut down natural medicine solutions for the last 115 years. And it's time that we throw their own law back in their face. This is about actually holding people accountable to their own thing. Now, that's part two. Here's part three. You've been lied to. And you've been lied to time and time and time again, but I'm going to bring you some evidence. This is evidence that you never saw before. This little book here is actually a book I published in May of 2005. And in it, I have the evidence that the programs that Anthony Fauci has funded and supported are not only not in the interest of public health, but worse than that, they are part of bioweapons programs. And what we are experiencing right now is not an accident of nature. It is the willful, virulent enhancement of a pathogen that has been unleashed for the purpose of destroying this country. This is an act of war. This is not just a treasonous act. This is an act of war. And in this book, on page 76, I actually have the evidence that the United States Department of Defense actually patented the weaponization of biologic agents at the exact same BSL facilities that are the same facilities where the coronavirus allegedly was amplified. This particular document details, are you ready for this? The blast resistance so that a pathogen can be placed in a rocket-propelled grenade. Does that sound like an injection? Does that sound like public health? Does that sound like the way you actually would distribute a health-related project with rocket-propelled grenades and blast-resistant pathogens? That's in 2005, ladies and gentlemen. That was published and given to the FBI, to law enforcement, to intelligence agencies, and for the entirety of the last 15 years,
along. January came along and suddenly you knew everything there was to know about coronavirus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have been following the money. $191 billion of your taxpayer money appropriated in the building right behind us. $191 billion and I have followed every dollar into the hands of over six and a half thousand organizations, over half of them who are foreign agents. This is not some sort of interesting little public health crisis created by nature. This is a bioweapons terror attack on this United States, and we have to call it what it is. I am done. I am absolutely done with people who have no courage. Every AG, every Department of Justice official, the Antitrust Division, which has $180 million to investigate whether Facebook and Google are criminal organizations. You don't need $180 million to investigate that Facebook and Google are criminal organizations. The European Union has spent millions of dollars establishing that fact already. We don't have to spend $180 million for that. We need to spend $5 to get one person, one law enforcement agent, somewhere on this planet to actually have the courage to stand up and say, acts of terror in this country will not be tolerated, period. This is our time to reclaim the fact that we, the people, are in fact products of, participants in, and stewards of the nature that surrounds us. And we, the people, have a legal and moral and ethical obligation to actually use one of those rare talents that most of us lost a long time ago, and that is the courage to use our voice. Each and every one of you has that within you. And you need to use this moment on this chilly January 6th, 2021, to light the fire of patriotism inside of you so that you will not allow this to happen again. Remember, nature has never conspired against us. Criminals do. And it's time that we hold the criminals accountable.